Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to enter final grades, narratives, and citizenship scores for the prep school, the middle school, and the elementary school here at KIS. First things first is you're going to want to log into Power Teacher Gradebook. You will do that by going to powerschool.kis.ac/teachers and go ahead and log in just like you were taking attendance. From this screen, you will need to run the installer once. If you've already done that, go ahead and hit launch. What you will see pop up is this. This is the gradebook screen. The first thing you need to do every time you check your gradebook is make sure of three things. First, that you are in the right school. Second is that you're in the right year or term. Okay, so I could be in 2014 or semester one and it should show all the same. Once I switch over then, I also want to make sure that I am in the correct reporting term. So I could show all, I could show just a semester or just a quarter. Make sure this is as small as possible. So select that as quarter one. Then what you're going to do is you can see the list of assignments from Schoology that are being imported into PowerSchool. As you can see, those letter grades are on a letter grade percentage scale, which gives most of the students a very negative grade. What we're going to be doing is actually manually overriding those grades to give students the scores that they're getting in Schoology. So what you want to do is go ahead and click Final Grade Mode. And when you want to override a grade, you're going to go ahead and just double click on the student's final grade. And you can go in and you can make it whatever you would like it to be as you click Manual Override and then select the letter grade. In this area is where you will write your comments. Uh, those can be narrative summaries. Um, and that's really about it. We're only including comments from the advisory period. No other comments will be displayed to the parents or the students. You can quickly navigate between students by clicking these arrows here, which will let you enter those grades very quickly. Once you're done, go ahead and hit Save in your gradebook, and that will save the final grades and comments for your students. When you're doing this for advisory and your narratives, you'll want to double click on it, enter a no grade or NG, and enter your advisory comment in that box. Now, this citizenship column that shows up as a yellowish orange is the column where you're going to be entering your summary dragon score. When you double click on it, again, it will let you just enter a score, and that is a one to five on the school leadership ladder for how the student is doing on all of the Esslers in your class. This will be print immediately next to the letter grade on the, school, on the student's transcript and the letters that are going home. If you have any questions about grading and how to do this process, please contact one of the integrators. When you have finalized all of your grades and they are all entered the way you want, you are going to want to go ahead and click on this button and mark your final grades as complete. And what that will do is it will turn green and that will notify us that your grades are ready to be stored. If you have any questions, again, reach out to me or one of the integrators and we would be more than happy to help. Happy